refraction of light through a glass slab. Let us now perform an experiment and find out how light gets refracted when it is incident on a rectangular glass slab. Place the rectangular glass slab on a white sheet of paper fixed on a drawing board. Trace the boundary ABCD of the glass slab. Remove the glass slab. Draw IO to represent the incident ray. Draw the normal N1, N2 at the point of incidence O. Fix two pins on the incident ray IO. Place the glass slab within its boundary ABCD. Looking from the other side of the glass slab, fix two pins such that the feet of all the pins are in one straight line. Remove the glass slab and the pins. Mark the pin points P1, P2, P3 and P4. Join P3, P4 to represent the emergent ray O-E. Join OO- OO- is the refracted ray. Measure the angle of incidence, angle of refraction and angle of emergence. Angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction and the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of emergence. Extend O-E backwards. We observe that the emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray. The above experiment shows that when a ray of light is passing from air to glass, that is, from a rarer medium to a denser medium, the refracted ray bends towards the normal drawn at the point of incidence. The emergent ray O-E is the refracted ray emerging out of the glass slab. O-E is parallel to the incident ray. This means that the refracted ray has been displaced from its original path by a distance xy. This displacement is referred to as lateral displacement. We also observe that angle OO-N1- is equal to angle R and angle E is equal to angle I. That is, angle E is greater than angle OO-N1-. This shows that a ray of light when traveling from a denser to a rarer medium bends away from the normal at the point of incidence.